guys, welcome back to another video. So we're finally gonna be doing the first mods on the M3 today. So it's been a couple of months of owning this car and honestly, it's been such a blast. I really enjoy this thing and I'm just trying to drive it all the time. A little update of what we've done to the car so far. Honestly, it's not much. So the car came with 255s in the rear. I went up to a 275 and it definitely added some meat and filled the wheel well. Pretty happy with how that looks. Besides that, I also had some maintenance done on the car. So I had spark plugs and coil packs replaced on this thing. I have a friend who works at BMW and he was able to take this thing in and take care of that for me. Shout out to my guy, Roman. I didn't have to mess with anything, so I'm also pretty happy about that. Besides that, what we have to do today is to install some parts that I've been holding on to. So what we have is a carbon rear diffuser, carbon skirts, we have black kidney grills and black fender moldings. Funny thing is I ordered the kidney grills and the fender moldings before I even bought the car. The car currently has chrome on the fender and chrome kidney grills and I'm honestly not sure why because the rest of the trim on the car is black. Um, I'm guessing it's because this thing isn't the shadow line package. I think it's just the shadow line package that comes with black kidney grills and fender moldings, but it's no big deal. We're gonna delete all the chrome today. And the car also came with a carbon front lip, which is mandatory on these things because they just look super funky without front lips. So I'm pretty happy I have that. As far as side skirts and a rear diffuser, you can get away without running those, but having these on the car definitely adds some character. The OEM diffuser that's on here right now is super small and it's paint matched. Some of the M3s come with the M Performance diffuser, which is carbon, but it's still super small and it just doesn't look aggressive. The thing that I love about this diffuser that I'm throwing on the car is that it wraps around the corner and you could see the carbon here and it also just makes the car look way more aggressive. That's the part I'm most excited about throwing on the car. So we'll probably start with the least exciting install, which will be the kidney grills. I'm a little nervous because I feel like I'm going to break some clips trying to pop this thing out. Hopefully not though. After the kidney grills, we'll move on to this, which I'm going to need a little plastic prying tool for. I don't have one. So I'm currently printing one in the house on the 3D printer. I think by the time we install the kidney grills, we'll be ready to pop these suckers off. But yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm super excited for this little transformation. Can't wait to throw the diffuser on the car and see how much more aggressive it looks, but we'll focus on the small stuff for now and start with the kidney grills. All right, so I just got the front bumper off. I'm sure there's a way to pop these kidney grills off without removing your front bumper, but I couldn't figure it out and I felt like I was gonna break something. So I figured I'd make it easier on myself, remove the whole front bumper. Got the first kidney grill out and I just wanna quickly show you guys what's going on. So here's the OEM kidney grill and the OEM black ones are super expensive. I think they're like hundreds of dollars. I wasn't trying to do that. So I ended up buying these knockoffs for like a hundred bucks. The problem is it comes with this little janky M3 emblem. It's like falling apart. Yeah, it's complete trash and it just clips into the grill. I wasn't trying to run that. So what I did was I took the OEM grill apart so we're just going to remove the chrome and then the knockoff one also comes apart so we're just going to use the black piece from the knockoff and then the vents are going to be oem and we're going to keep the oem m3 emblem which it's just part of the vent so i'm pretty happy about that yeah save yourself some money spend 100 bucks on these versus hundreds of dollars on the oem ones and they pretty much look exactly oem you could just call them half oem half the kidney grill is oem and no one would know that this is a hundred dollar piece that's just a little knockoff, but it looks original. So that's what I'm going to do with these things. Pretty stoked that it came apart. I'm just going to clip it all back together and call it good. What do you think? Good looking diffuser. Good looking diffuser, huh? I actually like that a lot. Finally got everything on, just finished the skirts, got the diffuser on. Dude, I thought the diffuser used like the OEM hardware, like bolts up to OEM hardware. 
Nah, dude, I just ended up using a bunch of self-tappers. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, diffuser has a lot of, like, drag, right? It's not gonna fly off? I don't know, it's self-tapping. I don't know, I'm a little sketched about the self-tappers. I thought I was gonna use OEM hardware, but I guess we'll see. It's already dark out. We'll continue tomorrow when it's light out. We'll pull this thing out of the garage and get a proper first look. All right, so I was able to finish the car up last night, and man, I'm super happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna start with showing you guys the rear of the car. Boom, so that's how it looks. It literally transformed the rear end of this car. It just makes it look so much more aggressive. Uh, this diffuser I bought locally used, and this is the exact style that I was looking for. Um, a lot of these cars have the diffuser with like the three fins on there, and not really a fan of that. I like this OEM Plus look, so this is the exact diffuser that I wanted. It's a 3D style carbon diffuser. Um, this diffuser new, I think, runs about $1,200. I found this thing used locally for $450. The side skirts are usually a few hundred dollars as well. I got these for 150 bucks, so that's a way that I save money when I build my cars. Pretty much all the parts I have on all of my cars, I buy secondhand, and that's just a good way to save money when building cars. Um, obviously, they're still in great condition and whatnot. Very rarely will I go and buy something new. That's just my way of, I don't know, getting parts for a good deal, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this looks. The side skirts are exactly what I wanted as well. A lot of them have like curves and stick out pretty far and are super aggressive. Not a fan of that as well. I wanted something sleek and this thing sticks out just about an inch, an inch and a half and goes straight down the line. So pretty happy with those as well. Fender moldings look sick. Kidney grill looks a lot better in all black. But yeah, this thing looks super good. I'm super happy with how it all turned out. One thing that I am missing are some exhaust tips. So I realized once I put the diffuser on that the exhaust tips are tucked away in there and it doesn't look very good. So I'm definitely gonna try to find some bigger carbon tips and I think that'll complete the rear end. But besides all of that, I think that's it for the exterior. The only thing left for this car would be to get a set of wheels. So hopefully find something in the near future. Um, but right now we're gonna go try to get some rollers of this thing. I've never seen this thing rolling. And I realized I haven't got any rollers of this thing, so that's the plan for now. We're gonna go do that and see how this thing looks on the street. So it's been a few weeks since I threw all the parts on and the homie Vitali just pulled up on his E92 and he has a set of TEs on this thing so I told him to pull up because I want to test fit these on the F80 just to get a little sneak peek of what TEs would look like on this car and maybe it'll motivate me to hurry up and get a set but that's kind of the plan for right now. We're gonna somehow jack this thing up. I only have one jack so we're gonna jack it up maybe throw it on some jack stands and then we'll use the jack for his car we're just gonna throw two of them on i just want to see how they look on one side not gonna go through the hassle of throwing the whole set on because we're just test fitting but yeah i'm pretty excited to see how they look they're not the exact color that i would want i think these are like matte black i would probably go with more like a graphite gray or something like that but either way it's gonna look pretty sick on this thing so let's get this thing in the air and finally throw some tees on it That's it for the TEs, pretty short-lived on this car. 
unless you want to sell them. Go for it. Straight trade, bro. <laughs> the 437s actually look pretty good on the E92, you know what I mean? They actually don't look bad on this car, so... Hey, 500 on top. I'll give you 500 on top. But yeah, either way, thanks for uh, letting me test fit. Now I know what TEs look like on this thing, and I'm actually really happy with how the 18s look. They're a square setup, so they're 18 by 9.5. If I'm gonna get a set, I'd probably get like 11s for the rear. This is how it looks with a 285 and a 15 mil spacer. Pretty meaty. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it, but sucks they're coming right off. What do you think, Alec? 18s? Um, yeah, 18s. He was a little uh, surprised. He thought I was going yeah, with 19s. Go 19s nah, 18s are the move because you could run a beefier tire and it just rides more smooth, but yep, that's it. Is that a Mustang? Oh, that we got two Mustangs out here. <laughs> but back to the 437s, back to looking pretty sad for a little bit. So the only thing left would be to get some TEs. And then like I mentioned earlier, the exhaust tips, they've really been bothering me. I've been driving the car like this for a few weeks and I hate how they're just tucked away. So that's definitely next on the list. But with all that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're starting on the S14 next. A little update, we got some new parts for it. A little sneak peek right here, but yeah, that's gonna be coming up probably this summer. I don't know, I think I'm gonna be working on the car all summer. Unfortunately, I don't think the S14 will be up and running this summer, but next summer, next summer. Next summer. We always got next summer. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.